I didn't plan to go out of my country because my country was fine, it was okay. I, um, there was a future for me. And the minute they attacked the country, I became a disgraced. We were forced to leave our capital city. I was forced to join the army because there was fight in my country. My father was killed uh, in front of me. I never killed anybody in my life and I never thought even of killing anybody. They attacked him. He was on a soccer field about to kill him and then we left Rwanda again. South African went through struggle. I went through the same journey while I was still in my country. They have experience about what is human right. When I arrived in South Africa, it was a nice, nice country to see with buildings, with light, and people were more friendly on that time. I was still here, I was alone. It was not easy because of the paper we had. Prohibited person. The doing kaga, the standing as a woman, you pregnant until you give birth and you raise a child. Sometimes when I speak in Zulu, they will say, no, you, you're not from outside, you're from here. This country battles a wave of xenophobic attacks. But I can tell you that the situation is extremely, extremely dangerous now uh, here in the Kevin uh, CBD. Countries such as Somalia, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, and Mozambique all came under attack. This group of people say they do not want foreigners here. They say these foreigners are taking their jobs and their economic opportunities. Thousands of others have had to flee their homes, seeking shelter at makeshift camps and police stations in Durban. Why people are killing each other? And they were singing. Bambe, Bambe, Bambe. I don't know who to trust now. We live in fear. I want my kids to be happy. They don't know any other country besides South Africa. We are here, we belong here. We enter into a covenant that we shall build a society in which all South Africans, both black and white, will be able to walk tall without any fear in their hearts, assured of their inalienable right to human dignity, a rainbow nation at peace with itself and the world.